Imagine a new type of transportation infinitely better than automobiles, trains, boats, or planes. Something that can get you anywhere fast, easy, at any time that's convenient for you, that has no pollution, and most of all could be free? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well guess what, we just invented it. Hello, and welcome to Nerd Sanctum. Today in tech news, I'll explain ET3, the future of transportation. ET3 is an acronym for Evacuated Tube Transport Technologies. Now, when describing ET3, I can break it down into two different parts. One being the transport vehicle that passengers ride inside of, and the second part being the architecture or the framework that these transport vehicles travel inside of. First, let's describe the outer part because it's more simple. ET3, in very simple terms, is like the tube you put things in at the bank when you use the drive through teller. In scientific terms, we call this a pneumatic tube. So basically, it's a really long tube that has no air in it or contains a vacuum. Now as for how these tubes are laid out, designers plan the ET3 routes will have long tubes that go between major destinations in pairs, and at each end they will have a specific transport gateway like a train station. The reason for the tubes being in pairs is that the ET3 system was designed that each tube goes only one way. Now that's just like how on the freeway we have two sides of the road, each traveling in their own direction. Now to the transportation vehicle that moves along inside the tubes. These vehicles are capsules that can hover on magnetic rails and they use an electric motor to push themselves along the rail. Now they have a capacity of six passengers and although they can be quite spacious compared to other means of transportation, uh, they do require that you kind of lay down in a reclined position due to spatial reasons. and. Due to comfort, they at least have uh, monitors that you can watch entertainment while you are traveling, even though it is pretty brief. The planned purpose for building ET3 is for transporting people and goods between areas with extremely high population densities. Now, designers stated that they're going to create ET3 in India and China first, but they hope in 10 years' time that they can create an ET3 system that connects all major cities in America and have a high-speed ET3 system that goes across Europe and Asia. The ET3 system is more efficient than any other of our society's current means of transportation for a variety of reasons. One is that it's a completely green solution because everything is electronically motorized, which greatly reduces on pollution. Second is that it's much faster than any other transportation method. ET3 plans on having a local speed of 350 miles per hour and an international speed of 4,000 miles per hour. Now, for reference, a commercial jet flies between 500 and 600 miles per hour. Now, also, uh, with this ET3 system, we are planning on being able to go from New York City to Los Angeles within 45 minutes. Third being that ET3 is much safer. The architecture of the transport tube lines make it impossible for animals or weather to interfere with the transport capsules. Finally, the last reason for ET3 being the most effective transportation method is that once it is built, it is very cheap to maintain due to being fully electric and the architecture durability leading to a long lifespan before replacements are needed. Now on to the estimated consumer cost for this ET3 system, is that the estimated tickets for the ET3 would be one penny per mile. Now this is such a low cost that even advertisers have considered paying for people's tickets. For example, when you're registering for your ticket, you would get a question asked like, are you okay with watching a few commercials on your trip? And if you say yes, then your, that company will pay for your ticket. After reading about this new ET3 plan, I could easily make multiple episodes about this, but due to me wanting to keep it brief and, you know, save your guys' time, I only explained the very, very key main points about this topic. Um, but if you'd like everything covered a lot more in depth or hear a lot more about the background of this ET3 system, I would love to make an explanation for that, and please leave a comment below if you'd like to hear part two. Um, Anyways, that's today's tech news. Um, hopefully we can see future developments in this and hopefully in Get Up and Running we can see it in America sometime soon because uh, obviously we know those contributions will be absolutely amazing. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to hear more science and tech news. If you have any questions about this episode or would like me to cover another topic, please leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time, have a good day.